Hello and welcome back to day four of the Kickstart Inclusion Challenge. Today we're diving into a crucial topic of effective communication in a diverse environment. Communication plays a pivotal role in fostering inclusivity and understanding amongst team members from different backgrounds. So let's explore some strategies and best practice to enhance our communication skills and create a more inclusive workplace. Effective communication is about more than just exchanging words. It's about understanding, respect and empathy. In a diverse environment, it's important to be mindful of cultural differences, communication styles and potential barriers that may exist. Let's look at some key tips for effective communication. Firstly, active listening. Take the time to truly listen to your colleagues Practice active listening by giving your full attention, maintaining eye contact and seeking to understand their perspective without judgment. This helps to foster a sense of trust and respect, which is really important in the workplace. Empathy. Put yourself in the shoes of others and try to understand their experiences and emotions. Empathy allows us to connect on a deeper and more meaningful level and to build relationships that are based on understanding and compassion all things that we want in the workplace now clarity and conciseness be mindful of your language and communication style be clear and concise with your language to ensure your message is understood by everyone avoid jargon or acronyms that may be unfamiliar to others nonverbal communication Remember that communication is not just about words. Pay attention to your body language, your facial expressions and tone of voice. Be aware of cultural differences in nonverbal communication to avoid misunderstandings. Feedback and constructive, constructive criticism. Provide feedback in a constructive and respectful manner. Focus on specific behaviours or actions rather than making assumptions or generalisations. Encourage open dialogue and invite input from all team members. Effective communication in a diverse environment requires us to be intentional and inclusive in our approach. Let's take a look at a workplace example. Imagine a team meeting where everyone is given equal opportunities to contribute. Each team member's input is valued and ideas are explored with an open mind. This creates a collaborative and inclusive environment where diversity of thought thrives. We don't want to be shutting people down. Now, let's discuss potential challenges in communication. In diverse workplaces, microaggressions, banter, and stereotyping can negatively impact communication and create barriers to inclusion and we don't want that. Microaggressions are subtle, often unintentional comments or actions that convey derogatory or negative messages to individuals based on their race, their gender or other protected characteristics. Then there's banter, which can be good. While often seen as harmless and can perpetuate, it can perpetuate stereotypes and create discomfort for those targeted. Banter can turn to bullying. Now stereotyping. This involves making assumptions or judgments about individuals based on perceived notions. It's important to be aware of these challenges and actively work to address them in the workplace. Ignoring them just won't work. Now if you want further information on how to deal with banter and stereotyping in the workplace, check out the articles on the Communicate Inclusively website. I've got a great article there just on that topic. To further support your learning, we've prepared the Effective Communication Toolkit. This downloadable resource includes practical tips and guidelines and best practice and exercises to enhance communication skills within diverse teams. It covers topics such as addressing microaggressions, fostering inclusive behaviour and challenging stereotypes. It's a valuable reference that can be accessed and downloaded 
using the link provided in your email for day four. Now it's time for our interactive exercise. Engage in meaningful conversations with your colleague or team members from a different background to yourself. Practice active listening and ask open-ended questions. This can demonstrate empathy. Reflect on your experience and identify areas where you can further improve your communication skills. Great job on completing day four of the Kickstart Inclusion Challenge. Today, we explored effective communication in the reverse workplace. We highlighted the importance of active listening, empathy and clear communication. We also addressed the challenges of microaggressions, banter and stereotyping, emphasising the need for awareness and action. Now don't forget to download the Effective Communication Toolkit and participate in today's interactive exercise. These resources will provide you with valuable insights and practical strategies to enhance your communication skills and create a more inclusive workplace environment. Now, as we wrap up the challenge, we've only got a couple more days left. I want to remind you of the exciting content coming your way on day five. We'll be exploring the crucial topic of promoting equity and fairness in the workplace. It's going to be an empowering session that will help you drive positive change within your organisation. And there's a bonus session too. I've created one all around um, diversity and inclusion committees and how you can create one in your organisation. So keep checking your emails as you don't want to miss that one. Now keep up the great work on your inclusion journey. And remember, we're here to support you every step of the way. If you have any questions or need further guidance, don't hesitate to reach out to the Communicate Inclusively team via email at hello at communicateinclusively.com. Now stay tuned for day five and continue making a difference and creating an inclusive environment in your workplace. Thank you. See you next time.